Hey guys, we're here at Walmart to check out the new skincare. Get excited! You guys, Bliss came out with body lotions and it looks like they have one for rough and bumpy skin, AKA keratosis pilaris, 10% AHA, mandelic acid, uh, lactic acid, and glycolic acid. Those are great ingredients. It's free of fragrance. How did I not know about this? $12.97. Yeah, so keratosis pilaris, there's not a cure for it. It's a dry skin condition where you get buildup of um, skin cells that are trying to shed and just can't quite make it off the plate. Um, they get built up around your hair follicle and that's why you get those rough bumps. And then the base around the follicle can get red and inflamed. Often it appears like on the backs of the arms, the upper thighs. It can also happen on the face. But I do have a video on my top products and recommendations for facial keratosis pilaris. So check that video out if you have KP on the face. Now, I don't know if this is new or not. It's the Fab Girl Firm Body Firming and Contouring Cream. This is scented. This has caffeine in it, which is an antioxidant. The, the idea of putting caffeine on cellulite, you know, that it might improve the appearance of it. it is, it's a reach, but um, that's what this is all about. Is this new from O'Keefe's? The Skin Repair Body Cream relieves the most severe dry skin. 48 hours. This appears to be free of fragrance as well, but I'm not seeing it. It's got shea butter, which is good, dimethicone, which is good, but I'm not seeing like any active ingredient. Not to say that that is bad. I'm sure this is a great moisturizer, but it doesn't have anything jazzy like urea or hydroxy acids to soften and exfoliate dry skin. This is new. Um, it's like a generic version of proactive. Oops, as I drop the oil absorbing sheets, which are good for temporarily degreasing the surface of the skin, but beware if you're wearing sunscreen, it can remove some of that. So if you're outdoors in the sun, this looks pretty good, you guys. This um, is $24.88. You get a leave-on 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. Micronized means it's a benzoyl peroxide, um, smaller sizes, less risk of irritation in comparison to the older formulations. More likely that it trickles down into the pore and focuses there as opposed to creating a lot of surface irritation. You also get a benzoyl peroxide cleanser with 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. They say it's a gel. And then you get a leave-on retinol. Time release means that it's likely in a vehicle where the retinol is slowly released so that you don't get it dumped all on the surface of the skin. That ultimately will help reduce irritation. So this product, it says alternative to adapalene. I think that's kind of strong language, but because uh, it implies that it's um, natural retinoid alternative to adapalene. I, I feel like that's, I feel like that's pretty pretty drug claimy there. They need to be careful with that because retinol, which is what is in this, is fine to use if you have acne, but it's not an FDA approved acne treatment. And so making the claim that it's an alternative to an FDA approved acne treatment, I think is a reach because it sort of implies that they've done comparisons, which they haven't. Um, adapalene can be irritating, but it's like one of the least irritating. So retinol, you know, it's not an FDA approved treatment for acne. It's, your skin has to do a couple of things to convert it to the active form. Retinol certainly can be beneficial if you have acne, especially in improving post-acne marks. I'm just curious how they were able to get away with that kind of language. You could use a cleanser morning and evening, uh, and then you would use the retinol as a leave-on product at night. And the benzoyl peroxide you could leave as, use as a leave-on product in the morning. You wouldn't want to use the leave-on benzoyl peroxide with the leave-on retinol because the benzoyl peroxide can degrade the retinol in this formula, probably. Interesting. I've never heard of this company, Dermatological First Line Acne Care. You also get a 10% benzoyl peroxide spot treatment. Now that is more likely to be irritating. 10% benzoyl peroxide is more irritating, but not any more effective than the 2.5%. Um, it requires a shorter contact time, however. So one approach to introducing benzoyl peroxide into your routine if you have acne and um, you don't want to get too irritated is to do short contact therapy. Um, if you're doing 2.5% benzoyl peroxide, you want to leave it on the skin for about 15 minutes and then uh, wash it off. 
but the 10% you could get away with like a shorter contact time and, and still get reduction in the acne causing bacteria that, that contributes to breakouts, cutie bacterium acne. This brand is new, ITK in the know. They have an SPF 50 sunscreen blue light protection. I'm assuming they mean it's tinted. It's not, so I'm not sure what they mean by blue light protection. Where is it coming from? Um, possibly zinc oxide, but depending on the size of the zinc oxide, it may be doing not much in the realm of visible light. Blue light is visible light, and in medium to deep skin tones, uh, blue light from the sun can contribute to hyperpigmentation. And sunscreens that have a tint to them uh, by virtue of the ingredients iron oxides can protect from that. In the Know also has a tri-acid toner. What is in this? Vegan cruelty free. Be careful with synthetic fragrance free. It, synthetic versus natural fragrance, they cause the same issues. This product has um, Gluconolactone, which is a polyhydroxy acid, can gently exfoliate. It also has lactic acid, an exfoliant, salicylic acid, and niacinamide. So this looks to be promising for improving the appearance of pores. I just am not, I don't like the claims that this brand is making with the blue light protection on their zinc oxide sunscreen. And I noticed while you guys were cooling your jets because you overheated, I was taking a look at the sunscreen setting mist. It's a chemical sunscreen that you spray on and it claims to set your makeup. There's no iron oxide in this, so I'm not sure where they're getting the blue light protection claim from. Maybe they're making a reach with an antioxidant, but what antioxidant exactly? I'm not even sure, wh like why are they making that claim? Uh, this kind of product, be careful, mists and sprays, they don't give you good coverage. They don't give you reliable coverage. You need to rub them in in order to have a reliable layer of of sunscreen. Uh, this type of product, as a side note, because of the alcohol denaturant, it can be drying too. And I would imagine that it's a chemical sunscreen from the US, so there is a chance that it will burn in your eyes, so be careful. I don't know, $14.97 for that small bottle seems like you'd be better served with something else, like the um, my favorite, the Bondi Sands SPF 50 chemical sunscreen. Uh, fragrance free it doesn't have iron oxides or anything but at least it doesn't claim to protect you from blue light uh, it's a lot more affordable wow one of my first ever cleansing balms that i ever tried is here at walmart now holy inflation it's 16 dollars 97 cents i swear when i first tried this it had to have been 12 maybe 11 10 10 to 12 dollars here at walmart which you know is going to be the cheapest it's 16 dollars 97 cents I also really liked, sorry, we're getting a little blown out here with all these lights. Um, I also liked the green, the all clean green foam. This is $11.97. If I remember correctly, this has like a nice cushiony sensation, cushiony feeling, like kind of like a little pillow on your face. I enjoyed it. Cream Shop has a Hello Kitty uh, Sika toner. It's got metacasoside, which comes from Centella, an antioxidant helpful for healing. Ceramide 3 may help improve the health of the moisture barrier. This does have fragrance, as do all Cream Shop products. How much is this? $19 hard pass. Look at this little mini Neutrogena Hydration Regimen set. The eye treatment is the only product in this that I like though because these um, have that strong fragrance that I don't care for. Check it out! The Hydro Boost Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Gel Cleanser Refill. You can also get it in a giant bottle. So this is the scented one here. This is the refill for the scented one, but they also have a refill for the fragrance free one. And now you can get it in this jumbo bottle. I really like this. Ooh, I don't think I've tried this soothing milk cleanser yet. 9.97. Bioface LED facial neck massager. Three temperatures and vibration modes. Restores elasticity and firmness. What is this? A, oops, as I throw it down. Is this a gyrating red light device? I would comment on this, but I have no idea what what it does, like what what it's using. It says LED facial neck massager, and it looks like it's red, so I'm guessing it's red light. There is some evidence that red light um, in these devices can help improve 
wrinkles, you know, red light penetrates the skin pretty deeply and it can have a, an impact on regenerative pathways. Help, and it's, it's helpful for healing. It's helpful um, as an adjuvant for pattern hair loss as well. Um, and these, you know, devices, depending on how they're made, they, they can actually be beneficial. They're not, the outputs are not going to be as strong as what you would get from an in-office procedure. All right, so Afrin, this is a nasal decongestant, decongestant, but it's actually the same type of ingredient as what is in, um, same ingredient as what is in, what is in like Rofade. And what it can do, if you have persistent facial redness and you want to temporarily improve the appearance of it, uh, you can put a little bit of this on the skin. It will vasoconstrict and minimize the redness. But you want to be careful to not use it all the time just for special occasions because you can get rebound worsening of redness. I tend to stay away from these kinds of things, but it is kind of an inexpensive dupe for the uh, prescription like Rofade and what have you. Ooh, gotten some hand soaps over here. Don't forget, wash your hands to prevent the spread of cold and flu germs. It's seriously one of the most underrated things that you can do to keep yourself healthy is just washing your hands. I mean, don't go overboard. Some people develop an unhealthy fixation with hand washing. Um, but uh, this time of year, you know, wash your hands. You can take all the vitamin C supplements you want. It's just gonna make your urine expensive. But washing your hands, I'm, I'm serious, it's where, the, it's where the money, it's where the research is at when it comes to staying healthy. Um, but it can dry out your hands a lot. So make sure you, first of all, when it comes to hand washing, to keep your hands from getting too dried and irritated, make sure that you thoroughly dry them. Don't wash your hands with rings on because the cleanser and water get trapped underneath the ring and stay there and wear away at the skin of your finger and break down the skin barrier and you can get hand dermatitis. And the other thing, make sure you put on a moisturizer after you rinse everything off and pat dry the hands. That way you kind of replenish the moisture barrier and help reduce water loss and prevent irritants from getting in. The Safeguard brand, I don't know anything about. The type of soap that you use, cleanser, it matters less. It's more about the amount of time that you spend doing it and ensuring that you get all surfaces of the hand, like in between the fingers, around the nail beds, rather than like the type of soap you use. Speaking of hand moisturizers, they've got some holiday skincare gift sets out. The Hand Care Essentials Hand Cream Trio. Uh, by EOS. Now, of course, these are all going to have fragrance, and if you're developing a hand dermatitis, fragrance is a common allergen, but shea butter is a good moisturizing ingredient for hand creams. How much is this holiday collection? They don't say. You get um, vanilla cashmere, lavender, and coconut waters. Ew. $19.98. Well, $20? Inflation station. Pink sugar. Britney Spears fantasy. I wonder if she's getting reimbursed. I wonder if she's getting... I wonder who's getting money from the sales of this. Hopefully it's her. Um, or hopefully she's getting some of it. That bottle is cute. <laughs> I wonder what this smells like. $19.98. What's this? Cleanse made with Lou cleanse made with 40% organic honey. Now, honey has uh, hum is is uh, actually honey is actually used for he wound healing. Um, one of the ways in which it works is it just pulls water out of the bacteria because of the sugar content and desiccates them. It also has antimicrobial properties. 40% organic raw unheated honey, distilled water, cocomethyl propyl betaine, that's a mild surfactant, and xanthan gum. Interesante, how much is this? $5 for this small little container. Um, now, what's this other product here? Made with only three ingredients. Erase, cleansing, exfoliating, and brightening powder. Rolls off dirt, pollution, makeup, and congestion. Now this is interesting. It's oat flour, like colloidal oats, milk, and chalk. Huh, 10 sachets. Sounds like you reconstitute it with water 
make a paste and then use it to exfoliate. You know, I would just, instead of this, get colloidal oatmeal and do the same thing. Because I don't know, I mean, milk may have a, a tiny amount of lactic acid by the time you get to the powder. I, you know, I'm not sure how much lactic acid is there. Um, the chalk, I would imagine, can be kind of drying. I don't know why they would use that and not... I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a cosmetic chemist, but um, interesting. Um, but what I was saying is colloidal oatmeal, like you can buy that. Avino makes it. There's store brand versions of it. These little packets. It has natural, it, it helps cleanse without stripping the skin, but it's also very hydrating. It has humectants and it also has abinanthamides, which is a type of antioxidant. It can be helpful for healing. We also have the Bioderma Micellar Water for $5. Um, this is good. Uh, I, I personally don't enjoy using micellar waters, but of all of the ones that I've ever tried, this one has been the best. And they're helpful for removing makeup, but I do recommend doing a second step cleanse with just like a basic face wash to remove all of the residue. But that would be a good little stocking stuffer for somebody who wanted to try it. Orange cream makeup water washable? What is this? I guess, oh, is this, this is orange face paint? Okay. <gasps> Look at this itty bitty little, what do you get? Like 10 capsules of the Rock Multi-Correction Vitamin C Serum. This product has ascorbic acid. Now that ingredient, it has been shown to help with collagen production when applied to the skin as well as to help improve hyperpigmentation. Because of its collagen boosting properties, it may help smooth wrinkles, but it's not a stable ingredient and getting it into the skin is very tricky. Um, but at any rate, these little capsules presumably might help it stay stable by protecting it from light and, and uh, air. You also have these little retinol line smoothing uh, capsules. You get 10 in here. Uh, retinol, if you're new here, you, you apply it to the skin. Your skin does two things to it to get it to retinoic acid, which can help improve collagen and also help in fading sun damage. What does this have in it? Ceramides are lipids that are naturally present in your skin and the levels of which decline with age. There's evidence that applying them to your skin can help improve the health of the moisture barrier. This looks interesting. So $9 for 10 capsules. That seems kind of expensive because that's like less than a week. Although this might be helpful to try rather than investing in the whole bottle because in the beginning retinol can be super irritating so a good way to introduce it is to try using it like every other night for a few weeks and increase to using it nightly as tolerated. So this might get you through that process depending on how slow you want to go with it before then investing in the bigger bottle. Here's a 10% glycolic acid peel. Um, this can be helpful for lightening uh, sunspots, but uh, what else does it have? The glycolic acid can help with that. It also has licorice root, uh, which can help brighten up sunspots and hyperpigmentation, as well as fade redness. Orange flower water. At night, gently wipe over clean, dry skin, avoiding the eye area. Do not rinse. Once absorbed, follow with a gentle moisturizer. So instead of you get four pads in here, but I'm sure they have a, a larger size. This is just kind of a tra travel or sample size. Um, basically, instead of putting the product in a bottle, they put it in a peel pad. So it, it's more waste, but I have to say these kind of pads, they are helpful for getting the product on your skin in a more even layer, as opposed to like if this is a liquid and you pour it out into your palm, and kind of go all over the place. They do make reusable cotton rounds though that you could use instead to do the same thing. Ooh, Freeman has a sleepy time whipped eye mask for tired eyes. I was sort of hoping that this might have melatonin in it, but it doesn't. Melatonin applied to the skin, it's an antioxidant. It may help in fighting off hyperpigmentation. This is free of fragrance, it has sodium hyaluronate. Um, which is a humectant. It helps hydrate the stratum corneum to smooth out the skin and help improve barrier function. Dimethicone, skin protectant. 
I don't know that there's much in here though that will actually depop. They claim the magnesium and hyaluronic acid depop, but puffiness can be improved by watching your sodium content in your diet and uh, controlling seasonal allergies if that's an issue for you, as well as considering sleeping on your back with the head of the bed ever so slightly elevated or you know a pillow underneath your head and then of course you can apply a cool compress under the eyes or one of these fun little patches you can store them in the refrigerator and put them on cool it can help depuff these however they do have do they have a bunch of fragrance yeah they do um you can find these without fragrance and for a better price three dollars is kind of expensive we have some Bioderma cleansers here. This is a gel cleanser. Comment below, do you like gel cleansers? Combination oily skin. I think this is scented. Yeah, this is scented. Um, $9. Here's another gel cleanser meant for more soothing micellar cleansing foaming gel. Again with fragrance, and again $9. Solution Doctor's Scrub Ruby Crystal Microderm Exfoliator. A daily facial exfoliator that adds hydration and removes dead surface cells revealing brighter radiant skin. These kinds of things, they, they're, they can be irritating. Uh, if you tolerate them, fine, but um, I prefer chemical exfoliants. They're just more precise. You know, you kind of are going in with a mechanism there as opposed to just hacking away. Speaking of which, ignore my chipped nail polish. Ico Black Magic Mascara. I might be intrigued to try that. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you enjoyed shopping around Walmart for skincare. We found a lot of new stuff that looks promising and exciting. If you guys like this video, on the end slate I'm going to put my last shop with me video. I also have a variety of other Walmart videos which I'll list down below in the description box but if you guys enjoyed this one give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and as always don't forget sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye!